What's up everybody, I'm Tony Carbajal. Welcome to a little space I like to call the Moto Cave. It's kind of like a man cave, except it's almost all things motorcycles in here. Probably gonna have questions like, who is Tony Carbajal and why does he have all of this stuff and all these motorcycles? I am a professional motorcycle stunt rider. I'm a content creator for brands and I'm a film and television stunt performer. I film videos in here. I do some tutorials for people and things like that. I've posted some photos of me working in the garage and I get a lot of people asking, for me to do a little tour, show people what I have in here, and how I created this little dream space. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick little walkthrough, show you guys some of the bikes, show you guys what I did to make this space look the way it does. So let's do it. All right, I'll give you guys a quick little rundown on the bikes. I mostly keep the bikes that I use frequently here. So here's a 636 that I use for film and television stuff. I got my Indian Scout Bobber. Here's a Victory Octane that I used for some stunt shows prior to moving over to the Indian brand. Here we have a Honda Grom that belongs to Nicole. The OD green color that she likes, knobby tires, little accents. This is my very first Indian motorcycle. Came to me as a stock Scout 60. Turned it into a hooligan bike. Did some stunt shows and filmed some content on it. You can see some of those build videos here on my channel. And of course, one of my most used and abused motorcycles my ZX636 I used this bike for stunt show, so it's fully equipped with a lot of parts. It's got a lot of fabrication and stuff put into it, but it gets the job done. And last but definitely not least, we got the Indian FTR1200S. This is one of my favorite bikes in the entire lineup. It's one of the newest bikes that Indian just came out with. So space can get pretty limited in here. I don't like to keep things too crowded, so got another last but not least I want to show you guys that I keep in the house. Keep my Ducati Panigale V4 here in the living room slash kitchen area. I think it's a pretty houseworthy motorcycle, don't you think? All the bikes can't be ridden all the time, so we keep things on tender so that everything stays charged and batteries don't go bad. I don't want this space to feel like an old greasy shop or anything, so I actually went with some accents and I went with some snap together flooring that's pretty durable, waterproof, liquid proof. I've spilled gasoline on this stuff before, but I got this at Home Depot. It actually really helps just to transform the entire space. I really wanted to keep things organized and put away, so I got this set of new age cabinets through Costco for a pretty good deal. Take a look here at my Icon Motorsports helmet collection. We've got everything from variants, we've got some of the new Air Flight helmets, different styles for different occasions. We've got this new Turbo Lover helmet here. Just did a video on that guy. Show you guys that later. We've got Armadas and Airframe Pros. So then here's where I keep a lot more of my Icon motorcycle gear. Got everything from field armor vests to leather jackets to mesh jackets, just all different types of gear for all different types of riding. Got a big variety of gloves, again, everything from leather to mesh. And of course, just boots, riding boots of all different types. Over here, we got the Avon Tires tire change and station, equipped with the tire machine, hair compressor, everything you need to get these tires changed all the time. Huge thanks to Avon Tires for providing us with some great tires for all the bikes. This toolbox here was the first toolbox I've ever owned. And I used to dig through this thing just searching through random tools that I acquired over the years just to try to find the right tools to work on stuff. Things progressed, I invested into a bigger box, started buying tools and trying to keep things a lot more organized really helps to have a good set of tools and in all the right places when you need them. It always helps to have a motorcycle lift when you're working on stuff. Get things up high so you're not breaking your back. So this accent paneling is stuff you can buy at Home Depot. It's only about 30 bucks a sheet, but it really gives the wall a nice look. I had some recessed lighting installed. Brightens things up a bunch around here. 
But these lights are pretty cool. You can change the temperature of them, the dimness. You can select each light individually, or you can even just select groups and only light certain sections if I'm shooting videos or photos or something. So I don't have a lot of photos or things hanging on the wall here, just a few things here and there. For now I have a few banners and stuff from shows hanging and this cool Indian motorcycle metal sign. Here's one of my signature series brake rotors from CTS Moto. And of course we got the Icon mats and the Indian motorcycle rugs. Back in the day Icon Motorsports released these limited edition bar stools. I'm glad I snagged a couple because they're not available anymore and they make a good addition to the garage. So some of you guys may know that Jack Daniels has been a partner with Indian Motorcycles on some things, so managed to score this cool whiskey barrel. Brought it home, helps fill the corner pretty nicely. So we obviously love things with two wheels and a motor, so here's our collection of Super 73 fat tire bicycles. Got a little work done to some of these. Got Super 73 S1s and OG. These things are a lot of fun. We take them all over the place. One of my longtime sponsors is Rockform. I shoot a lot of content and stuff for them. They make cool mountable phone cases, motorcycle mounts, charging accessories, a bunch of cool stuff. Check them out. Well, there you guys have it. Quick little tour of my moto cave and all things that are in it. If you guys have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Shoot some comments down below. You can find me on Instagram at Tony Carbajal. I hope you guys will stick around, so be sure to subscribe for more videos to come. And I'm going to leave you guys with some footage. See you next time.